Welcome to Santa Pod for the final round of the 2015 MSA Drag Racing Championship featuring the Pro Mods. As we go into this round, Kev Slyfield leads the points, but after getting to the final at the last event, Roger Moore has really closed the gap and both Andy Robinson and Roger can still overtake Kev. Yeah, it's a brilliant thing to get to the final. Great for the team to get out on the start line. Uh, the atmosphere is fantastic. And, uh, we were in some ways disappointed in the performance of the car, uh, but a good weekend. So, into the first of three scheduled rounds of qualifying, and first out will be Jean Delamont from France in the right lane and Paul Ratkin in the left. Now, Paul has been uh, deep into the sixes with this car, but in Comp Eliminator, where they're allowed to run different fuels. Just to use unleaded in Pro Modified, which means a complete setup change. That's why the team are being a bit cautious with what they're doing. Jean Dunamon has had it nailed down for a little while, though. Let's see what the Camaro from France can do this time round. Into the sixes, 682 and a 747 for Paula. Well, Chris Isaacs made some big strides in testing with the Duster. Let's see if he can translate that to race weekend performance. Alongside Andy Robinson. Problems to Chris again. Andy, no such trouble at all. Lights the scoreboard up to 628, 228. I'm sure the team will take that after a horrible season of engine damage. Roger Moore, Kev Slyfield up next. Now Roger got to the final of the European Finals. The 16 car field beat everybody but Mickey Gulquist that day. These two are gonna be going head to head for the championship this weekend. The first all important bout they're gonna be in. It is only qualifying, but they want to run well, and Kev Slyfield runs better than ever. 6.34 at 2.23. No wonder the team are happy. That's a new personal best by half a tenth. Wayne Nicholson with the lucky devil. Another team really getting a handle on the combination. Just gets a little bit out of shape. Wayne backs it off. And gets back on it again to an 8.22, 1.73. So, a great opener for Kev Slyfield in that quest to become champion. Yeah, we're very pleased with that run. It's another PB. We're over the moon with that. So, yeah, I think that puts us in second place qualifying. Um, I think we still need to go around, though, So, because uh, Andy's chasing hard. It's getting quite close, although Andy's in a 6.20. You're only a tenth down on that. So when it comes to actual racing, that really is neither here nor there, is it? No, no on race day, that's, that's like everybody's got to do their the race right if you make one mistake that's your race race loss so uh, you've got to make, got to do it right and what's the reaction times like yeah mine aren't as good as Andy's <laughs> unfortunately but yeah it's you know okay. so a chance to work on engines before the next round and that's Chris Isaacs giving top speed automotive street eliminator racer Al Williamson a bit of advice about calming his car down on the launch now, Chris actually built the car as well, so uh, probably giving a few nudges in the right direction. So, first out for Q2 is Chris in the duster. It looks like more problems being pushed back, unfortunately. So, a solar run for Jean de Lamont. This everybody's last runs of the season before they put the cars away till next year and uh, Jean with tie shake by the looks of that off the line still goes 7.45 I think him and the team probably be pleased that the car's still in one piece especially the front end of it but uh, they've done very very well this summer much more like it the team from France next pair out going to be Paul Atkin still looking for that first six in pro mod against Kev Slyfield now Kev ran 6.34 only going to be looking to go that little bit quicker. Every time they make an incremental step in performance, the benchmark for the settings moves. But unfortunately for Kev, went backwards that time round. Shut off early. Paula, best so far in Pro Mod of 707 at 194. Last side by side pair. Back at the European Finals, these two raced in round one and Roger Moore really spoiled Andy Robinson's day that time round. This is only qualifying, I'm sure Andy would like to 
exact a bit of a measure of revenge and he does that very well indeed another strong run oh picking out the pace as well the 621 230 669 for roger moore Final qualifying session now, and first out will be Wayne Nicholson, still desperate to get the car working as it should. So Wayne looking for a low seven, hopefully six. Still having launch problems, which unsettles the car a little bit after that. He wisely backs out of it. They will get there, and Wayne's never one to give up. So, Jean Delamont with a patchwork Camaro. Focusing more on performance this year than, uh, than looks, I think. Well, Jean had to shut down. Can Chris Isaacs nail a decent run? Oh, no. Well, it looks like they've got the power problem solved. Just got to get it off the line now. It still boots it all the way through to a 205 mile an hour pass, but uh, it's still not quite what they were looking for. On board with Paul Rankin. Up against Kev Slyfield. Kev looking to back up the 6-3. Paula looking for her first six in Pro Mod. Well, Kev's way out front, but Paula's on a good run too. Kev goes 6.42. Paula makes her first six second run in Pro Mod at 6.92. Well done to her and Stan. Well, you can keep, see Kev Slyfield out the window there, just pulling away. Strong run for both nonetheless. Last qualifying session for both of these as well. Roger Moore, Andy Robinson. Andy slows up slightly and Roger picks it up a bit. 6.46 for both. So, is Roger feeling confident? There is an outside chance for us to still, yeah, to still win it. Uh, I would have said Kev's a favourite, really. I, I can't see him. He's got enough points and uh, I can't see him stumbling, to be honest. Um, but we, 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 to be honest, we're not looking at the championship points. We just want to go quicker tomorrow and uh, just to end the season on a high. And it's going the right way for Paula Atkin. Yeah, back in the sixes, we're, we're really pleased with it. Um, the crew have worked really hard to get us back there and um, I really appreciate what they've done, all the hard work. To win them um, a round in Pro Mod, that would finish the year off really good for us. So, fingers crossed, uh, we can get the Mustang down the track and win put up our first win line. So, a look at the final qualifying times and positions with number one going to Andy Robinson. Very well deserved for the whole team. Kev Slyfield looking for that championship in that two. I was going to come along and say, you seem to be back on track, Andy, but that last run there, it was very, very exciting and close, but it wasn't back on track, was it? No, I think we've um, rolled a sprag in the transmission. Um, so basically, it's like launching in second gear, which is why it's a bit slow. <laughs> We've been actually trying to get some decent runs under our belt, just just repeat um, and then tweak it a little bit, which so far has been working quite well into that last last, last run. Um, so yeah, no, we're still, on, still trying to go fast. So here are the first round pairings and the championship still wide open. We believe that Kev Slyfield needs to win the first round to guarantee the series win. And it looks like problems yet again for the lucky devil Corvette of Wayne Nicholson. Well, Paula Atkins should be facing Jean Delamont in the first race, but problems starting in a small nitrous backfire for Jean leads the starting marshal to beckon Paula up to the line to get a solo for her first round win in Pro Mod. Lots of smoke soon after a thousand foot, and that doesn't look good at all for the team, unfortunately. And another solo up next for Kev Slyfield. Should have been racing Wayne Nicholson, but they found problems as they came to warm the car up earlier this morning. And this will guarantee Kev the championship win. Well done to him and all of his hard-working team. And Kev seals it in style with a 6.39 at 2.22. Well, Roger Moore on that burnout, making clouds from the engine as well as the tyres. Alongside and improving Chris Isaacs. 
with the turbo duster. Once they get that nailed down, that will be a low six second, possibly even quicker car, like I said. And they finally, finally, I think, found what the issue was. So, this could be a very, very good race indeed. Depends if Roger Moore's engine holds together. It looks a little bit smoky down one side, but this is the last race of the year. I think the parts bin's probably all used up for everybody. Well, it might be smoky, but it certainly goes. Roger Moore out there in front. Chris Isaac makes a good race of it, though. 663 win for Roger Moore, 684 for Chris Isaacs. And you're obviously with a scheduled by run by being virtue of number one qualifier. Of course, we lost a couple of cars before this weekend. Most notable of which was Bert and Andy with a beautiful Chevy. Hope to see them back next year on song. You got a perfect in-car view for low ET of the weekend at 6.15-2.31 for Andy Robinson. That team have really got it together. Good result for Andy, but not too good for the Atkins. Knew we were going to be quite hard and up against it with Jean. And uh, we stepped it up a little bit and unfortunately didn't perhaps do enough testing in between taking that next step so we've hurt it a little bit learned where not to go we were doing okay but perhaps I got a little bit too greedy on that last run but overall in the season having got qualified in the Euro finals got through around now even though there wasn't a car in the lane so Paul has enjoyed herself she has enjoyed herself the whole team has it's it, it, it sticked to everything we wanted to do at the beginning of the year we've thoroughly enjoyed ourselves so uh, we'll go back over the winter have a look and see how much damage we've done and um, see if we can rebuild it and get ourselves back to Form. Uh, it's been a bit frustrating in some ways. Um, we've been struggling to make enough power at the point where the converter uh, wants to get hold of the engine. Um, although the numbers didn't show it, the last couple of events we've made quite a lot of progress. Um, we found out eventually at the Euros how to make too much power and um, we, we ran the 654 on a test day. We've been struggling to actually find a window because we couldn't make too much power it was kind of like we were trying to score a goal and we only had one goal post now we've got two goal posts we can start kind of narrowing that window down a little bit um, uh, so i think it's going to show some improvements now well it turned out that jean de Lamont made an official protest and was given a rerun for that round one race and with paul ratkin broken he gets an easy solo for the win in the semis So, as we wait for the semi-finals, you remember we saw Chris Isaacs talking to Al Williamson earlier. Well, Chris Isaacs built Al's truck, and I think he wanted some advice in calming his launches down a bit. And that's the reason why. Street trucks don't normally leave with the wheels in the air, but that one does. What a superb car. Anyway, semi-final time. And Jean Delamont now takes the place of Paul Aratkin. And we're on board with Andy Robinson as well. So Jean has uh, really had a breakout year in Pro Modified. He's been in the six threes, one elimination round actually down at uh, Hockenheim back in the summer in the FIA series down there. So looking for good things to round out 2015. He's Jean and the team. Definitely get the long distance award every time they show up for an MSA race, but he's got a tough task against Andy Robinson, who's been running very, very well this weekend. Well, yeah. It's the orange English Camaro that takes it. Low ET of the weekend, 6.13-2.33. Well, you can see John almost going backwards. He still ran 6.88. No problems at all for Andy Robinson. Terrific run. Roger Moore, Kev Slyfield, Kev now confirmed as champion. And now concentrate on the business of winning the race, which he has actually won two of in the summer, done very, very well indeed. An absolutely deserving champion is Kev Slyfield with that terrific looking Thunderbolt. But Roger Moore has um, been in luck overdrive recently. And it appears the same's happened again. Roger just keeps sticking in those mid sixes. Another 663. Kev Slyfield with shake and spin off the line. He's out. He can console himself with the championship series win, though. 
OK, finals time then. As the drivers get suited up, we had a test run by Chris Isaacs, and it looks like they're finally starting to get it nailed just as the season ends. Now, Chris did say earlier on that they found what they thought was the problem. Well, that's definitely making enough horsepower. Storming run for Chris into the 6.3, 6.38, 2.26. That'll make a long winter a bit shorter for all of them. Well done. So the last race of the year for MSA Pro Mod for bragging rights over the winter. The two orange cars, Annie Robinson and Roger Moore. They raced each other at the European finals. It was Roger Moore that day that took the win. Let's see what Andy Robinson can do to get him back this time round. Well, a red light for Roger Moore spells the end of his day. Andy Robinson was going to be tough to get around. He still gets there first anyway with another fantastic 6.15230. I think Roger Moore knew he was hurting a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's actually been a great re weekend and the crew have worked really well and I'm really pleased for them um, to get a win. It's, yeah, it's their win really. It's very, very small steps. Um, that, that's the trick now is that you, you, get, you get your big steps and then you get to a point where you've got to tweak each little thing and you're, and you're playing around with you know one degree here and, and gram of clutch there and it's just stunning how these small changes will make the difference you know down the racetrack and it really does and learning how to do that and finding the window is quite tricky so that gives us our final points table for the season with kev winning the msa series and andy robinson overtaking roger moore to clinch runner-up spot so that was it, six hard fought rounds here at Santa Pod and wow, what an exciting season we've had. We've had thrills and spills, highs and lows, but one thing I can say for sure, next year they'll all be back faster, louder and wilder than ever. This is MSA Pro Modified and we'll see you all again in 2016.